Hi, it's Rick here from the Cat Jewelry School. And the question that I often get asked is, how do we create a curve on a, a surface, particularly a midpoint of a surface when you might want to use a command to erase some gems or uh, place some other objects uh, in the center of a ring shank uh, or the top surface at least. So it's a couple methods. I guess the method I would normally use, particularly on a flat band, or a fairly flat band like this, simply under the drawing menu or, or tab in Rhino Gold and under the curve menu, we have a command called average to curves. Now uh, in Rhino Gold it's called average to curves. When you click on it you'll see the name of the command is actually tween curves, okay, or in between curves. So it prompts you for a start and an end curve. And in this case, we can click on either of the top edges here. So clicking on one edge and the other will allow us to press enter and place a curve in, in that midpoint there for us. So it's quick, it's nice and easy, and that's the normal method uh, I would use. The issue comes about if, well, let me just show you the issue. Just switch that layer off. It's obviously an issue where we haven't got a clearly defined edge here. Okay, so in this case, we can't use the tween curve or the uh, curve average of two curves uh, on a shank like this. So there's another method I'll show you now. So the other method that uh, commonly people use, and it's demonstrated in some of the tutorials that you'll come across, uh, is under the modeling tab and under the dupe edge command is extract ISO curve. So an ISO curve is just a curve that follows either the Y or X direction of a of a surface. Um, so what we just simply do is specify the surface that we want to uh, create the curve along and you'll see that you can either move that anywhere along that surface there but if you do have some object snap set up in this case I've got my mid snap and I've got my int or intersection snap on. What we can do is come down and click here to find the intersection of that uh, surface edge. So I can just click there and again pressing enter will generate a curve in that position. So it's the same position as what would have been uh, if we'd used the uh, average to curves command and just to show you that in the other example let's just delete that. Uh, again, if I use under dupe edge the extract ISO curves command, it will ask me for the surface. And again, I'll be able to find, uh, in this case, the quad. It's actually the quadrant, obviously, on this. I'll press enter. Now, the other question um, that's often asked is how do I split a curve? Let me just hide this ring shank so you can get a, a good view of this. And a number of ways to do this if we come to the split command. Probably the quickest way is to use uh, a point on the curve or along the curve. So again, if you've got object snaps active, uh, you can uh, select the curve firstly to split and you can move your crosshair anywhere along the curve segment but let's say you wanted to split this halfway let me come to my front view so you can see this more clearly but I can obviously move uh, my, my point to split this curve anywhere along this but if I do get to somewhere like a quadrant it will give me a snap there and I can click on the other side again just making sure that I find the quadrant there and click once and just press enter to finish with the command and you'll see at the bottom it, it indicates that the curve is split into two pieces so I have now a top curve and a bottom curve so I'll just split that or delete that I should say and of course you know you can run any of the commands such as um, the gems by curve okay I hope that helped you that's it for now Bye.